I've spent all day on the internet, but there's nothing of interest. I'll try to get in here. What's this link that popped up? So what do we have here? Now that's something interesting. A contest for the best selfie. The winner gets a trip to a resort. I definitely need to be there. I just bought myself a new camera. Now I have to go get my camera and find a good place to take a picture. It would be great if someone could help me. So I've got it all set up. I just need to go find the right place. How's the weather out there, by the way? Got lucky with the weather today. So uh, what's the best place to go? This one? Or should I go with this one? And now I've found someone to help me with the photos. I should give them the idea. There's not a minute to lose. I have to win this trip. Hey guys, the weather is nice today. Mikey and I went out for a walk. I suggest we start our games on this court. Sounds great. Where would you like to start? How about a game of chase? Or should we start with hide and seek? I feel like you and I are about to have something interesting. Hey guys, hi. Hi, Afmao. Did you want something? I found a contest for the best picture and they're giving away a trip to a resort for three. I like that. Maybe we can win. We'd love to help you. Where are we taking pictures? I think we can do it right here. JJ, you're gonna take pictures. All right, I'm in. What am I supposed to do? You're going to help me. I'm ready. Me too, I'll be a good help to you. Follow me, I'll pose. Come on, Mikey. All right, I'm ready to pose. I'm already very interested in how it's going to be. That's it, I'm getting into the fur hose. I'll find the right angle. I'd like to participate too. Mikey, don't. I think we're done with the pictures. Thank you so much for your help. I shouldn't have taken the picture. Either way, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. Hold the camera. Send pictures as soon as possible. All right, you and I have an obligation to win. After the victory, I want a resort in the woods. We'll figure it out later. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Afmao. Success to you. See you later. What a headache I have. I shouldn't have gotten in the shot. I know what we're going to do about it. A game of hide and seek in the fresh air will cure everything. I like your suggestion. Let's go play soon. Whoever is the last one to get to the site will be the last one to haul all the stuff to the resort. Aha, I got here first. Now it's all on you. I wonder when the results will come in. I think in the next few days. Right now, I suggest we play and then go to Aftmau. Four to six days later. It's been a few days now. I think the results should have come back. We can then go to Ampho and find out from her. Let's go see her. I hope she's home. That's what we're about to find out. What do you think our chances are? We've done a really good job, so I think we have a good chance to win it. I really hope so, because I want to go to a resort. It's only a short distance to Ampho's house. Let's go. Don't bother. She's already coming to us. What do you mean? Look, there she goes. She really is. Hi, what's your news for us? Hey, guys, you're not going to believe what I got. What you got there? This is our vacation trip. You and I won. That's really great to hear. I'm thrilled. <gasps> Yay, we're going on vacation. Have you packed yet? Uh, sure. As soon as I heard back from the organizers, I immediately packed my suitcase. We need to get to the bus stop as soon as possible. It's not that far away. We can go. Let's go to the bus stop. We'll take the first bus. I'm so excited. I wonder how great it's going to be. Well, it looks like our bus. Let's go faster. Hello. Hello, young people. Make yourselves comfortable. We'll be right there. Yay, we're going on vacation. The journey to the site will be several hours. Three hours later. Yay, here we are. Uh, where are we? Is there some kind of mistake? That's weird. I thought we got off at the right stop. It's so empty and there's nothing here. But judging by the pictures, this is our vacation home. But there's only one. Is that really where we're going? Let's go find out. Maybe they'll give us a clue. I'm a little worried. It's going to be fine. Mikey, it's going to be OK. We're here with our company anyway. Let's go see what's in here. Anyway, the next bus isn't until tomorrow. It's pretty creepy and dark in here. Got some of that. Let's try to get in the house already. I second your motion. Let's knock on their door. I'm going to do it now, as long as someone's home. I think there's someone coming. So we wait. Good evening, young people. What can I do for you? We want a trip in a contest. So that's how it is. We waited for you and thought you weren't coming. So we got here, right? Sure, I'll show you to your room. We're following you. Your room is on the second floor. I wonder what she's like. There's a very steep and dangerous staircase. Here's your room. Now you can lie down to rest, and tomorrow we will go on an excursion. The excursion is quite an interesting proposition. At this point, I'm going to have to leave you. All right, thank you. Close the main window. Mosquitoes are very fond of visitors. Didn't you find this place very strange? 
Yeah, and that man really scares me. I expected more from this room. Let's just go to bed. I'm a little tired. Maybe at least the tour will be interesting. We'll find out tomorrow. I don't really like this place, JJ. Let's leave tomorrow. noise what was that we should go check it out but be careful it's quiet what's he doing in there they don't suspect anything our plan is going as we planned they're trapped what does he mean by that i need to follow him to find out i have to be careful not to get caught i think he went this way the important thing is to be quiet what do they have going on here? What the- How are our test subjects doing? Right now they're asleep and don't even suspect anything. That's good. How easily we caught them. How easily they fell for it. Our gas is almost ready. We can start the test soon. What? Use gas? I need to warn the guys right away. You can't let them put their plan into action. What's that noise? What's wrong? Guys, wake up quickly. You have to see this. What's going on? I found a secret lair with something scary in it. <gasps> what was it? I didn't quite get it, but they said we were test subjects. We're test subjects? What do we do? Run away from here? Let's see for ourselves first. Afmao, take us there. Come on, it was here. I don't want to go there. Don't be afraid, Mikey. We're just going to take a gentle look. I'll open the door. Let's be careful. It's so creepy in there. Don't worry, Mikey. Everything's going to be all right. They were right here. Let's be careful. We're going quietly. It's so empty and there's no one here. That's weird. They were here. Where could they have gone? Maybe you just had a nightmare? I'm afraid not. Otherwise, this basement wouldn't be here. Then we have to get out of here. Holy mother spaghetti. What is that? I think we're walking into a trap. There's some kind of gas coming in here. I don't feel so good. We need to find some way out of here and soon. Uh, guys, you guys okay? What's happening to you? Well, well, look at the defenseless, lonely girl in front of us. Haha, uh -huh, that's for sure. What are we gonna do with her? Why don't we play a little game? Guys, what's wrong with you? Don't touch me. Don't be afraid. You won't be hurt for sure. You just need to get some sleep. We won't hurt you. Don't worry. That's it. Let him sleep for a while. What do we do next? We can continue our entertainment. Who's coming? Who are you? Good job, subordinates. Now grab her and drag her upstairs. What do we need this for? That's the order. Execute. What if we say no? We're not just some toys. Then you will be liquidated. Your job is to follow all of our instructions. Well, let's grab her and drag her along. Come on, one, two, and go. She's definitely not waking up anytime soon. I wonder what they have in store for her there. What do you want from me? Why are you doing this? La, 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 la. I love you, la, 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 la. How interesting to see that your friends will hurt you, too. Stop it, JJ. You're hurting me. You don't know what pain is yet. Let's get this over with. Let's go get the lever and send her for a swim. Come on, I'll show you where it is. I like games like this. It's good that we came here. And you sit quietly and behave yourself. So what am I supposed to do? Wait, they didn't take my phone. We need to call police right now. Come on, hurry up. 911. 911, what's your emergency? Help, I've been taken prisoner. Send the police. Ma'am, stay calm. The police are on their way to you now. Please hurry up. Now we're going to have some fun. Now that we have leverage, we can take it all the way to the end. Please, you don't have to do anything. Let me go. Sit tight. I thought I told you to sit quietly and not make a sound. Please stop, JJ. We seem to have a huge problem. Where did the police come from? We gotta get out of here. Everybody stay where you are. It's not our fault. It's all right. You'll be telling stories at the station. It's all these two. They made me do it. It's not my fault. All right, so you're the one who started it. Well, then you must be apprehended and sent to prison. Mikey, I think we're in trouble. Yeah, JJ, you and me, we've made a hell of a mess. I hope the comments tell us what we should do now. Two hours later. By the way, JJ, what are we doing today? First of all, get off that rung and onto the ground. Okay, whatever you want, JJ. So what do you want to do today? I want to do something nasty. Some kind of nasty thing? Why would you do that? Because it's fun. You're just going to make someone else uncomfortable again. That's not good. You're so boring, Mikey. Oh, our parents are here. Hi, kids. While you were playing around, your mom and I decided to give you a little present. A present? Yes, a gift. We love you so much, we thought we'd treat you. Yeah, you've been on your best behavior for two days. Two days we've been out of trouble, Mikey. That's a record for our family. That's 
why we're gonna get you a radio-controlled car. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I hope you behave and stay out of trouble for another day. Of course, Dad. We'll be good boys. Here you go. Play and have fun. We love you both. There was no red car? Thank you, Dad and Mom. Yes, thank you so much. We'll be good kids. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot. Here's the remote control for this car. Until you've played it yourself, you wouldn't give it to the kids. That's great. We've never had a car like this before. Thanks again. You are the best parents ever. Okay, have fun. Thank you. You kids play. We're gonna play with Daddy, too. Bye-bye. Play nice with Daddy there. All right, JJ. If I'm the one who gave me the remote, I'm the one who owns the machine. I play first. Okay, Mikey. I'm not sorry. Look how fast it goes. Yeah, JJ. The car is very fast. Just need to fully understand the controls. There's nothing to understand. You just press the forward and down buttons. Only a baby wouldn't understand. It's not as simple as that, JJ. Oh, yeah. You're a baby, too. Your car keeps crashing into walls. Give me some time and I'll learn. See, I already know how to drive it properly. Uh, sure. In an open field with no walls, you're not going to hit anything. And now you've hit the wall again. Just let me drive already. No, JJ, I haven't played yet. Just a little more and I'll let you drive. You'd sooner break the car than play with it and give it back to me. I'm fine driving the car. It's gonna be okay. Okay, what did you do, Mikey? It fell in the hole. I told you to give me the controls. You don't know how to drive a remote control car. What are we supposed to do now? It could have broken from that height. I don't know, JJ. Maybe you can reach in and get it. No, you drop the car. You get in that hole. No, I'm definitely not going in there. I'm scared. You go first. I don't care. It's your fault you go. I'm not going in there. Do whatever you want. Okay, then I'll go first, but you're coming with me. Okay, okay, I'm on my way to get you. Oh, there's a door with a bunch of forbidden signs. Warning, danger, stop, and so on. That sounds kind of scary. Maybe we shouldn't go in there. Forget the car. It's a gift from my parents. We have to find that car. So what if it's a gift? We're gonna get in trouble again. Why are you always afraid? It's your fault for dropping the car. You have to fix your mistakes. As my big brother, you're supposed to help me. Go over there and get the car. You make me so nervous. You're always afraid of everything. Stop talking, JJ. Start looking for our car. Okay, okay. This room looks like some kind of vault of books and chemical potions. And there's the car that Mikey dropped. But it's not the car that interests me most. It's this potion. It's the most important thing here as I see it. I might be the smartest and strongest person in the world if I drink it. It's kind of tasty. I want more. Guys, I don't advise you to drink unknown liquids. It's okay for me. I'm strong and smart. Now we have to take this car and go to Mikey. And I'm already feeling energized. I want to do something bad. It's going to be fun. You want to do something nasty? I do. Okay, let's go. Hello again, Mikey. I found our car. We got to get out of here. Okay, where's the car itself? Show me that. Here it is. You don't believe me? Oh, cool. I believe you, JJ. You've been in that room for a while. I was worried. Now let's get out of here. Now I'm going to play with this car. Yes, of course. Only now it's nighttime and we have to go home. You can play tomorrow if you want. Of course I do. I've never played it. Let's hurry home to our parents. I hate them. Okay, let's go home. Why do you hate them? Uh, what? I didn't say anything. You imagined it. Five minutes later. Okay, we're a little late. Don't say anything about the car or our parents will get mad. We're not going to tell them anything. They're stupid and won't understand. You're kind of rude, but okay. Let's say we just played a long game and didn't realize it was dark. It's going to be okay. Yeah, stop talking and let's go home. Mom, Dad, hi. We're back from our walk. Hi, Mom and Dad. Hey, kids. How's your car? Did it break down? No, here's the car. Nice and clean. It's all right. That's good. It costs too much money. Try to treat it with care. All right, Dad. This car is awesome. Yeah, the car is great. I haven't played it at all, but it's really cool. And the fact that I haven't played with it is a shame. It's because of Mikey. That stupid TV that almost ruined her. It would be nice to kill him so I could play with the machine more. What? What are you talking about, JJ? He's just tired, so he says he doesn't have to. Okay, whatever. It's getting late. Go to bed, both of you. I hate sleeping. Let's go to sleep, JJ. You must obey us. Why don't you both go to bed and I'll keep playing? No, that's not gonna work. Okay, we're going to bed. Don't fight. You two stupid adults. It's okay. I'll get you soon enough. JJ, they heard you. Did he call us? stupid? What happened to him? I don't know. Maybe he just overheated in the sun. Okay, they're not mad at you. It's so great that they didn't find out about the car. We won't get punished, which means we had a good day. We've also been in that weird pit. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. Yeah, that's cool. Mikey, why don't we kill our parents? What? What are you even talking about? Let's kill them. They annoy me, and they keep ordering us around. I don't like it. No, that's not good. That's not the right thing to do. These are our parents. We love them, and they love us too. You're as dumb as they are. You can't kill anyone. I could kill you. You're crazy. What happened to you? I'm not the crazy one. It's the whole world around me is crazy. You too, Mikey. Looks like I knocked him out. That's all right. We should kill him first, then the parents. You should have listened to me, Mikey. We could have taken over the world. This TV man is so heavy. He's been eating his burgers and getting fat, but it's okay. I'd love to fry him up. Maybe he'll come to his senses and take my side, or maybe he'll die. The main thing is that no one will see me and my plan will be perfect. It's very strange. Where's JJ dragging Mikey? We told them to go to bed and they went back outside. They're not supposed to be out at night at this hour. 
Look, they're just kids. They'll play. They'll settle down. It's no big deal. I was the same way back in the day, just trying to have fun. When I was a kid, it was impossible to keep track of me. No, darling, it's not okay anymore. JJ's been acting really weird today. He was saying things to himself. His head was all smoky. We should follow them. Okay, let's go. Did you even hear what JJ said about us? He called us stupid. He also wanted to kill Mikey. I thought he was joking. Let's go get them and take a look. Is he joking or does he really want to kill him? Okay, whatever you say. I gave them a car to keep them out of trouble. And now trouble is happening to them again. Three hours later. JJ, this isn't funny anymore. Please let me out. I'm your brother. I'll give you this car forever, but please don't kill me. You think it's the car? Come to my side. Help me kill my parents. I won't do it. I love them. Why do you want to do it? I'm the one asking the questions here. Either you come over to my side or you'll be swimming in this hot lava. I'm not going to try to kill my parents. They love us and they love you too. They gave us a car. I don't want to hurt them. So that's it? If you won't pick a side, then you're against me. No, JJ, don't do it. Too late, Mikey. You made the wrong choice. JJ, please don't. I love you. Pull the switch. I don't want to burn in the lava. In five minutes, the cage will sink into that hot lake and you'll be fried like a steak on a griddle. Fried, Mikey. That sounds delicious. Please, brother, don't kill me. I'm so young and handsome. I haven't accomplished anything in my short life. Yeah, your life's really gonna end quickly. Why have you become evil? We were playing so well. I hated playing games with you. You're so so annoying, always taking away my toys. Now you've become my own toy. And you know what? I really like playing with you now. How good I am, how smart I am. I'm getting hot already. Standing in this cage is torture. God, why do I have to do this? That's the kind of stupid death I'm gonna die today. Oh, I hear some rustling in the bushes. Is someone coming to rescue me? Who would even be out here at this hour? We thought we'd follow you around. Thought you were playing like this. But they didn't play. JJ's crazy and messing with Mikey like that. You and I have been talking a long time. Maybe we should hurry before Mikey gets frustrated in a cage. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need to get him out of the cage. Let me out of here already. The soles of my shoes are starting to melt from this temperature. And yes, I'm very happy to see you. Okay, I just need to figure out how to get you out of here. Maybe we should pull these levers up. No, you just have to open the door to this cage. Oh, really? I could just open the door to this cage and walk out of here? Okay, thank you for saving me. You got here just in time. But what could have happened to JJ to make him so crazy? I'm sure it's all your computer games that have that effect on you. Yeah, I think it's the computer games. We should take away JJ's console and computer. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm glad you ended up here, but now we have to catch JJ before he comes up with another trick. He was gonna kill me, and then he was gonna kill you. He's very dangerous. So think about what to do about it. You're adults, you're supposed to be smart. We're not that smart. Your dad's still watching SpongeBob. So what? It doesn't make me stupid. We'll all go into the bushes and call the police. They'll decide what to do about JJ. What if he goes to jail? Maybe he'll go to jail, or maybe a mental institution. It doesn't matter. Five minutes later. Hey guys, this is gonna be a good video today, huh? I gotta go check on Mikey. He's probably cooked to medium rare, or maybe well done. I know how to roast meat. What? The cage is empty? How did Mikey get out of here? I thought I locked the cage. Or I didn't lock the cage. He just opened the door and walked out of here. How awful. I forgot to lock it. I also told everyone they were all dumb when I'm not smart myself. What a shame. Yeah, JJ. You're a complete idiot. Not locking the cage was really, really stupid. What? Parents, how did you get here? We just followed you. Yeah, your plan isn't that brilliant. Yeah, JJ, you screwed up. Oh, now that you've all come to me, it'll be easier for me. I'll kill you all at once. Let's see who's stupid. Calm down, kid. I'll put you all in the same grade and believe me, I'll have a lock on it for sure. Oh, what's that? The police? Did you call the police? Of course. So what? You didn't expect us to just call them and have them grab you? You're not such a genius. Oh no, I didn't think of that. What do I do? That's it. You're going to jail. No, I'm your son. Help me. I was kidding. All right. Who's the criminal? That red boy is a criminal. He wanted to kill us. All right, hold it right there. Hands up or I'll shoot you. Don't make any sudden movements. I'm going to kill you too. What did he say? He wants to kill me. You're going to jail, boy. You're a criminal. So, uh, is this your son? Yeah, but he wanted to kill us all. Kill? How about we kill you? Would that make you feel good? Oh my God. Looks like it's over. I'm not going to be able to take down this stupid family. Shut your mouth right now. How often did he threaten you? He does this a lot. That's not true. Shut up. You have the right to remain silent. So be silent. All words spoken by you will be applied to you in a court of law. Yeah, and then they put him in a mental institution. Can't this class be over? We can take a little breather. Math was so hard I was really tired. I have a physics problem I can't solve. By the way, have you seen our new girl? Yeah, I even talked to her a little bit. She's interesting. We sit in biology together but I haven't talked to her. Did you really fall in love with her? I can't believe Mikey fell in love. That sounds interesting. Yeah, well, I liked her. Then talk to her by all means. It's time to go to learn. Just don't let me down. What's 
wrong. Just don't panic. We gotta get out of here. What's that sound behind the wall? Oh no! We've gotta get out of here. It seems we didn't make it. We're not giving up. Stay away from us. Get away from us. Capture their brains. Hack them. They will serve us. JJ, I don't seem to be in control of myself. Don't come any closer. What, what, what's going on? Amphow, get out of here. We've got them now. Catch them all. Ra, ra, run. Capture everyone. No one can be left out. Guys, it's me. You don't have to do anything to me. Hurry up and get her. She's getting away. We can't have her hiding somewhere. I'll catch them all and the boss will promote me. I think she ran that way. Hurry up and get her. There she is. Come on, after her. Let's go. Barely escaped. Seems like a good place to hide. Well, well, well. I saw you run in here. We're not gonna hurt you. Come on out. Aha! There you are, I got you. Please don't do this. Where are you? Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. We just want to help you. Come out quickly. I know you're here. You can't hide for long. Come with me and nothing will happen to you. Looks like we need to look elsewhere. Ooh, I think he's gone. Today is just the first day of a new school. What am I in for? What's that sound? There you are. Gotcha. Oh no. You can't catch me that easily. Take that. We have to go to the vice principal's office. I think that's her door. Yes, I came the right way. Hello? Have you seen what's going on at school? Hello, Amphow. What happened out there? I heard some noise, but I thought it was kids making noise. Our school has been taken over by Skibidi Toilets. They are taking over our minds. That's horrible. You didn't get hurt? I don't, but the rest of you do. Do you know how we can get out? We need to get to the principal's office immediately. He'll know exactly what to do. I think I found two more. Can't let them get away. Wow, it's JJ. Come quickly follow us. We know where to hide. I'm gonna kick in the door. There you go. It was a bad move to bring us in. You're under their control too? I'll get the others to pick them up. Don't worry. You won't be in any pain. Don't touch us. We just want to get out of here. Good job. We'll take care of them. You can go back to work. We did well, M1K3. All that's left is to find that girl. We've already caught all the students. Don't get distracted. We still have unfinished business. It's time for us to finish what we started. Keep up. We're being called. I'm here. Who needs anything? Did you get the girl yet? We're on our way to find her now. There were voices in that hallway. Check it out. She must be hiding in there. Let's go look around. Look, I think they're grooming new recruits for our ranks. While we're working, they're chilling. No conscience. I think he was talking about this hallway. We have to hurry. Yeah, let's go check it out. Hopefully they haven't gone anywhere yet. Hey, is it me? Or is that her standing a few meters away from us? Oh no, they found us. We need to hide as fast as we can. Get them. We can't let them get away. Surround them. I'll nail them on this side. Come on, we're almost there. Wait, we need to talk to you. Don't stop, open the door. Help us, we're being chased. Why can't we open this door? Who opened it for them in the first place? We need to figure out how to open it. Let's try to work together, see if we can do something. We're on it, open the door. Don't make us break it down. Dear friends, you can tell us how to open this door by prompting us in the comments. I can't get this door open. Help us, we are in danger. Don't panic, you're safe now. What happened? Open Our school has been taken over by Skibidi Toilets. They robbed. have taken all the students captive and are making them do all the dirty work. Is there anything you can do? We really need help? I have a plan. I have a panic button in my basement. Then let's hurry up and get over there. The thing is, I forgot where the sunroof button is. We where could she be? Ramp. Let's look. It is somewhere within the, the confines door. of this table. I have not removed it far away. I don't see anything like that. I think I see something. Is that her by any chance? That's fine. Yes, that's her. Hurry down to the basement. Keep up, they may get here soon. We did it, get them! They can't get away! What, there's no one here? Where could they have gone? They didn't just disappear. Also true, I think I found how they escaped. Try opening it. It won't budge, apparently it opens with a button. There's something underneath, let's try the other side. You could try going through the basement. I'm tired of chasing after this girl. There's not much left, they're at a standstill. Let's get this over with. We've been chasing this girl for half a day now, but it'll all be over soon. We're safe for a while, they'll find us soon enough. How do we proceed? We can't just give up on them. We have to call the police somehow. We need to turn their own stubbornness against them. How do you propose to do this? Their target is you, Amphow. So if I stand around the corner, they won't see me. 
Are you suggesting we use me as bait? I'll be there for you, don't worry. Oh, all right. I hope you know what you're doing and that it works out for you. I think they're coming. What's next? I'm gonna use the panic button to call the police. What do I have to do? Get over there and distract them for a while. All right, good luck. Well, we found them! Break down the door. We're not gonna let them get away. We finally got you! Why did you make things so worse? What's gonna happen to me? We'll take you to the main Skibidi toilet. So that's right, do it, release them. What's she talking about? J4Q5 in the back. What? Where am I? Mikey, what's wrong with you? Let him go. Get him, don't let him go. Well, he's gone, so he's bringing more Skibidi toilets with him soon. JJ, I'm so glad you're being you. I don't even remember what happened to me. We don't have much time. We gotta get out of here. Get your friend up. Hurry up, JJ. Okay, Mikey, get up. We gotta get out of here. I think I hear them. We gotta go. Now we're going to have a very tough fight. I hope help is on the way. They're in the front. Let's fight them. There are so many. We can do it. I'm glad we'll be fighting together. We'll have each other's backs and we'll get through this. Hey, they're coming. Now you're gonna answer for everything you've done. I'm counting on your help. Don't let me down. Is that the best you can do? There's not much left. We're good. Get him. He's on his own. Don't miss it. We don't need any more problems. We did it. But it's not over yet. There are still some Skibidi toilets left. We have to figure out how to beat them. That's a lot of military. Help has arrived. You're finally here. We were able to fight off some of them, but there's still a lot of them. Take us to them. We'll deal with them. Follow us. We'll take you to them. Deal with them. Follow us. We'll take you. Let's show them who we are so they won't want to come back. Good job, partner. Well, it's been a very hard day. Yeah, we've been through a lot. I was really scared. We have now been rescued and taken out of the school. Next, it's up to the professionals to figure it out. I agree with you, Mikey. Look how strong that robot is. I don't think this group of Skibidi toilets can do anything to him. You are tremendous well done. You did very well today. You're doing great, too. The next day. You know, darling, the day I met you was a very lucky day. To meet such a beautiful, charming, and good woman like you is a great blessing. Oh, honey, it's a great blessing for me, too, to have such a good and loving husband. We've been married for ten years. Those years have flown by so fast. It feels like I met you yesterday. Yes, honey. I enjoy spending time with you so much that I don't notice it passing. I'm so glad to have you in my life. I hope we continue to be together for the rest of our lives. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's our parents' wedding anniversary. We want to congratulate them. Yes, we're very happy for them. Ten years of marriage together is not easy. Oh, hi, kids. Happy anniversary to you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to you too, Dad. Thanks, JJ. You two make a great married couple. We wish you to continue to be so good. Yes, you're the best. We're really lucky to have parents. Such beautiful, kind, and loving parents are very rare, you know. Ouch! Oh my god, what is that? A soccer ball in the restaurant? Who's playing in the restaurant? <laughs> That's us. We kicked him good. Hey, let's keep being naughty. <laughs> let's go. What a bunch of annoying little kids. Yes, it's unpleasant. I'm so sick of little kids like that. Good thing you're not like them. Yes, we are older and smarter. Why don't we go home already? Yes, it's long overdue. Plus, it's so much cozier at home. Yes, you're right as always. It's a good thing we don't have little ones in our family like those. Yeah, that's right. Good thing we're all adults here. I don't think Mikey as an adult would want to have kids. No, children are good. It's good when they grow up. I hate babies that are too small. I'm going home. Let's go, kids. You know, Mikey, you used to be so little too. I don't remember that. I was already smart and grown up from birth. You're funny, Mikey. I'm older than you and I remember when you were just as annoying. Whew, we're finally home. Yeah, it was a good day. Yeah, we had a good one. It's already cold outside. Come home already. I wanted to take another walk, but okay, let's go home. I was just remembering how cute you guys were when you were little. We were very happy when you were born. Yes, put all the love and care into you. You keep on loving and caring for us, don't you? Uh, sure, but in a different way. What do you mean different? Because you're adults. You can't be babysat anymore. And sometimes we wish we could. Dad? I give you permission to babysit me and carry me around in your arms. I want to do that too. Kids, we love you, but babysitting is different now than it used to be. All right then, I didn't really feel like it. The most important thing is that we love each other, no matter how old we are. Huh, Mikey, I imagined you as a 40-year-old man. How would our parents love you? They would continue to buy me candies. Bedtime candy is bad for you. It's time for you to go to bed. How about we play some more? Yes, I don't want to sleep. I want to play with toys. No, 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 that's out of the question. You have to sleep at night, not play. It's 
It's too early for bedtime. Is it too late? It's midnight. You should be asleep by now. So go to bed quickly. And without any toys before bedtime. All right. Well, we can sleep if that's what you want. Mikey, good night to you. Sleep tight. And may you have very good dreams. Oh, thank you. Same to you. Hey, can you say good night to me too? Yes, of course, JJ. With wishes like that, I will sleep very deeply. Good night anyway. Yeah, get a good night's sleep there. I hope you enjoyed it. Good night to you too, Mom and Dad. Yeah, good night to you. Yeah, let's get a good night's sleep. We're all very tired this day. Yeah, go to your bedroom already. Oh, that was rude. Yeah, that was rude. But I don't take offense to my kids because I love them. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. You know, JJ, it's a good thing we get all the love from our parents. I wouldn't want to give it all to anyone else. Good night, JJ. Yeah, I agree with you, Mikey. Good night to you, too. Yeah, I'm getting a little sleepy, too. The next day. Eh, it's a nice day outside. It's a good day to do something outside the house, huh? Yes, we obviously need to do something. Kids, bye-bye. We're going out. Don't miss us. Although I don't know if they're awake this early at all. What are we doing today? We just went out for a walk and a break from our kids. You know, I was thinking last night about what we discussed after the restaurant. What do you think about that? I do miss when Mikey and JJ were babies. Yes, those were good moments. I agree. Oh, who's the cutie? Honey, come here. Look at that little girl. Isn't that a little miracle sitting there? Oh, you're right. That is a very cute little girl. She's very nice. I'm Ampha. It's so sad and lonely to play alone in toys. I wish I had a family of my own. What a shame I'm an orphan. Honey, did you hear that? She's an orphan. We can take her in. She's so cute. Are you sure you want to adopt her? Yes, I'm sure of it. She's absolutely wonderful. I want her to be my daughter. If you're so sure of that, then I agree. She certainly won't be lonely in our family. Especially since we already have kids. I'm sure they will be friends with each other. We need to meet her. We have to get her to like us. Just try not to be rude to her. Oh, hi there. You two are so beautiful. Are you here to adopt me? Are you my new parents? Because I'm all alone. Um, hi there. We're really thinking about being your parents. Yes, we'd like to adopt you, if that's okay with you. We really liked you. Woo, I agree to be your daughter. That's great. Then let's go to our house. Yes, you have my word you'll love it here. You're part of our family now. Wow, that's awesome. Now I'm going to call you mom and dad. Yes, now we have a little girl. I'm so happy. Me too. Three hours later. Hello again, everyone. Mikey and I decided to play outside while my parents were out. Yes. I was thinking how nice it is that this playground belongs to just us. It's so cool. We don't have to share it with anyone. Yes, we are owners of this place. But I'm sick of sitting here for hours. I suggest we go to our room and play with our toys. Yeah, I'm bored here too. Let's go play at home. And no one will bother us there. It's so nice to live like this. Let's build a castle out of cubes. That's a great idea. You build a castle and I'll build cars to park there. We'll have a castle to store our cars in. We're going to have a big parking lot. That sounds really cool. Let's go build it. What? Who is she? How cool is it to play in your own room? Who's that girl? This is our room. I live here now, too. Mikey! She threw away all of our toys. Who would let her do something like that? It's just awful! Some stranger's girl invaded our home. Yeah, we should call the police to get her kicked out of here. But I live here, too. Who gave you permission to break all of our toys? Mom and Dad are going to come and kick that bully out. But I only played a little. I don't want to live on the streets again. Did you play a little? You made a terrible mess. Yes. Yeah, you tell that to the police. You go to jail for that. What? I don't want to go to the police. Why? You won't fix the situation with your tears. JJ is right. You need to clean up here and then leave our house. What's going on here? Why is our daughter crying? Who is she anyway? This is our new daughter, Amphow. We took her from the orphanage. What? Aren't we enough for you? Yes, what about us? Don't you love us anymore? Don't be silly. But she broke all our toys. How did she even dare to do that? She's still a little girl. Be gentle with her. That's it, I'm here. Calm down, Amphow. Mom and dad are nearby. And who will fix our toys? Go play in the yard. We will raise her and protect her. Um, are you serious? Yes, don't bother us. It's kind of unfair. You are already adults. Go play by yourself. Yes, go already. They dragged some girl into our room, gave her all our toys, and we are to blame? Yes, you are to blame. You brought her to tears. Get out. This is my room. Let's get out of here, JJ. No one loves or respects us here. Some kind of adopted girl is more important to them than their own sons. You're right, Mikey. I was offended by our parents. How could they do that? Now they will forget about us forever. Mikey! And you started crying too? God, you're a grown man. Adults don't cry. God! Our parents will play with her a little and give her back to the orphanage. Don't worry so much. Take it easy. Oh my God! Two hours later. Why didn't parents even do anything when they saw her break our computer? I don't know, JJ. Maybe this girl is more important to them than us now. I don't want to believe it, Mikey. It's too weird. We've been with them a lot longer. 
It just doesn't work that way. Let's go see what they were doing without us. Maybe the parents realized their mistake. Look at that. A girl sitting alone on the floor crying. What happened to her, Mikey? Ew. It smells awful, too. Look at that. She's pooped. Now I know what that smell is. We need to change her diaper. Yeah, I can't feel it. Only I'm not going to do it. Let you change it. I certainly can't do it. This is disgusting. Please, JJ, change her diaper. I'm begging you so much. Why me? Okay, I'll do it. Come on, roll over. I'll change your diaper. Thank you so much. You're very kind. How awful it looks. You just need to stop breathing. Change your diaper quickly and forget about it. Well done, JJ. You will do great. I believe in you. That's it. I've done it. Now you're clean and there's no bad odor. Thank you so much. You were able to help me, only now you'll be changing my diapers all the time every time you do it. What? What did she just say? Did I just hear what she just said? You heard right, my friends. This is totally disrespectful. Come on, Mikey, we're gonna punish her for this. What? What are you gonna do? I agree, JJ. It's time for her to realize a little bit that she is a nobody in our family. Let's go, Mikey. How can you be so insolent? Now you'll know what it means to be rude to us. Go on your way. Our parents can't help you now. Now you'll have to live alone on the street. What are you guys doing? Maybe I'm too mean to them. I think I need to apologize and we can live together. We finally did it. Now we can live in peace without the cheeky little girl. Let's go to our room, Mikey. Let that girl learn to survive on her own. What? Is she back with us again? Guys, let's hug it out. I realize not everyone wants to clean up after me, but you'll get used to it. I believe in you. Is she doing it again? I don't think she realizes her mistakes at all. She came in again and continues to be rude to us again. What did I say wrong? Look, she really doesn't know what we're saying. Let's get her away from the house. Maybe then she'll figure out why we don't want her here. Why is that? Cheeky girl. Go far away from here and don't even think about coming back. Come on, JJ. We've got toys waiting for us. Have fun staying outdoors. I'm so tired of walking already. It's horrible. So much trouble from that little girl. The main thing is that we can go play in our room in peace. I agree with you, JJ. Let's not waste any more time. Guys, I realize my mistakes. Let's not fight anymore. Let's go hug and live together again. I will not be bullied and act like a bore anymore. She came again, but now she's apologizing to us, Mikey. I'm not exactly apologizing, of course. You heard that, JJ. People don't change. She's at it again. I was just kidding. Let's be friendly, boys. Don't get mad at me. Look at her. She's very sweet. Maybe we should forgive her. Forgive? All right, let's forgive her. Let her be part of our family. You guys are very kind. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be a part of your family. Cool, Mikey. Let's go upstairs to our room. That's a great idea. Now the three of us can play. There's enough toys for everyone. It's so wonderful when people change and realize they were wrong. Now we can all live together and never fight again. I agree with you. I'm glad it ended so well. I'm very excited too. The three of us will have fun living together. I agree with you, Mikey. The important thing is that now we understand each other and forgive each other. And then we will live together for the better. And now we have a sister. Like us, if you're happy, we could be a whole family. Write comments on what you would do if you were us. See you later. Bye. Stop.